Hi everybody, it's Tyler here at the Highlander Summit Signature Event, checking in with now your champions. It's Overclocked and Pink Swirly Unicorns. What a phenomenal set of finals. If you didn't watch it, you need to go back and watch these finals. Absolutely insane. By the way, Triple Crown winners, congratulations here. How's it feel to be qualified? Well, multiple times now for the World Championship. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Well, we actually managed to also get Pika Pika to qualify, so that was awesome. I got to ask you, come in, uh, competition play, I mean, you were able to lock in uh, that world high skill score uh, really early on, and then qualifying-wise, I think a little bit of rough start, and you kind of just kept climbing the whole way. Can you just walk me through your continued ascent in qualifying and why you just kept getting better and better? So um, we did lose a few matches at the start of the tournament, and then we managed to pull it back today and win everything. Yeah, absolutely. And can you talk a little about, uh, for Alliance pick, uh, why was Swirly such a great complement to your Alliance? So we had great auto synergy because we had uh, a really good uh, right side auto. However, they had a really good left side auto. Uh, so we were able to put that and then win. Coming back over here, I mean, going through all the playoffs, I mean, as you started out, I think number nine seed, right, as you went through? Uh, so you have a tough, you know, tough go the entire way, a lot of it. What was it like kind of clawing your way through playoffs and can you walk me through some of the math strategy? Yeah, so in the beginning, I was quite nervous of, like, what to do. But, like, we just went with the strategy because they had a nine ball and we had a four plus three. What we did was uh, we had them just lock down on that their goal. And then what we did was... I would just uh, try to get control zone, fight for control zone on our goal, but we never really tried too hard for that control zone. We were really focusing on more on their goal and both the middle goals. And if you watch our matches, you know, maybe we get like two or three in the other goal, and then usually we get like the middle goal and the bottom goal. So what we were really focusing on is securing their long goal and both the middle goals. And uh, if we secure our long goal, then we know that we're gonna win. I want to ask you about finals one here. Blue uh, took a tennis mode one both finals for it, right? So you're, you're starting out down a little bit with that. How did you adjust uh, to uh, losing auto to winning the match? What adjustments were made in that? I don't know. Like, really, this whole entire competition, we, we really never won auto that much. So this whole competition, we've really been fighting back those auto points. And we were just really used to it when it did come to that. Uh, just, like, quickly match loading, scoring as fast as possible, like, Having an overview of the field, uh, like everything that's going on, that really helps in just like hyper focusing on something. In finals two coming in, uh, you know, once again we mentioned uh, not able to take auto in that, so you start a little bit down. But the dynamic match play that went back and forth between you know the long goals and going back into the middle, back and forth, was absolutely crazy. Can you just walk me through a little bit about your strategy in finals two and how you approached it? Yeah, so uh, after we took control of one of the long goals, um, we saw that Pika Pika was going for the center goals. Uh, however, since no one was uh, like competing for my long goal, I decided to go um, and play defense on them, which allowed uh, our alliance to come in and pretty much steal the entire middle goals. And then, you know, at the end, the infamous chain hanging down on the other side, what was going through your mind uh, as, you know, you saw them, what looked like they got a double park, and then you see the chain, what was going through your mind during that time? So at the end, I realized uh, that the chain was in fact hanging off, but I feel like they should have actually won that match in, in that case, yeah. Well, humble in victory, definitely for sure, but very well earned. Once again, this is your champions here at the Highlander Summit Signature Event. Congratulations, and we'll see you all at Bex Worlds. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected.